I'm Hannah Brewer, and I'm from Bokorn K-12. This is also Kelsey Daniel. We're all from Buckhorn, and today we have you here with um, Heritage and the Arts. We chose this project because, you know, we grew up in eastern Kentucky, and not a lot of people know about their roots, and we really wanted to uh, magnify that. Okay, well, I'll, I'll introduce it just a little bit. Um, let, me, let me start by saying we uh, attend school at Buckhorn, uh, high school, grade school, it's a K-12 school, it's a community school, and it's very unique in that we are settled amidst a state park. When we come into school in the morning, we can smell the campfire uh, smoke from the camp that's next door. We hear the church bells ring at six o'clock as the sun comes through the trees, you know. Um, it's very unique. However, there's been a kind of a move away from the arts and, and things, and it seems like the first thing that gets cut when any funding is cut is your art program. So we really don't have a, a specific music program or a band. We don't have an art class. We don't have um, a theater, these type things. But they are passed down generation from generation through time. And in the, uh, in the mountains of uh, Appalachia, we have a very unique culture in our own arts. For example, uh, I taught a class on the Appalachian lap dulcimer. Most people um, haven't had an opportunity to play those, but we're going to incorporate that as part of our program. We want to focus on a variety of the arts, literary arts, creating a cookbook to appreciate and honor our heritage and where we come from, uh, the foods that we that come from the mountains, the music, like the, the Appalachian Lap Dulcimer music that comes from the mountains. We want to honor all these things. Um, and not only that, but our arts, our visual arts, our performing arts. We're hoping to uh, open a small recording studio to publish a book with folk tales and mountain recipes uh, and a variety of other things. But I'll let the kids tell you about that. I just wanted to kind of introduce it. Our goals are quite simple, actually. We want to bring our community together. We want to learn about and appreciate our local arts. We want to develop our skills in the arts, and we want to appreciate and showcase our heritage and culture. Before we get this whole thing started, we wanted to know a little bit of background about Appalachian art. So we will be traveling to Moorhead State University to the Kentucky Folk Art Center to see art previously uh, submitted into the program. Um, we're going to recruit local artists to help us lead classes, like we said. We wanted to show our roots, so we wanted everything to be as local as it can be. Um, we're going to conduct evening classes around the community to see where everybody's heads at and what they want to see done. Um, we're going to create lots of art on canvases. We're going to do a basket weaving class, dulcimer music, and recordings. Um, we're also going to have a cooking class and a folktale story time. And uh, last but not least, this is actually my favorite, we're going to have a cookbook. My favorite part of where I grew up is probably most likely the food. Uh, chicken and dumplings, soup beans, cornbread, all that good stuff. And we really want to show our generation how we make that kind of stuff so, you know, it don't get lost in the past. And as Hannah mentioned, we're going to bring local artisans in and we are gonna have them teach classes. One of those people are Ruth Noble. She's going to teach a cooking class. She's gonna show us a little bit about how to make chicken and dumplings, cornbread, you know, stuff that is, was originally cooked here in the mountains. Um, we're gonna bring E.L. Smith in, and he is going to teach a dulcimer class. He's going to teach us how to make one and then play one. Uh, we are going to have our student leaders teach a basketry class. We're going to show them how to weave baskets first, and then we're going to let them make their own. We have various artists coming in to teach us how to do paintings and murals. We're all going to do a heritage fair. We are all going to do a mountain fair and folk tales books. Like I said, I really wanted to magnify where I came from.